Welcome to XAR Template Tutorial Lesson 115 for the XAR Web Designer 9 Premium Software. In this tutorial, we're going to talk about a full width background in regards to having a fixed full width background versus a scrolling full width background. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is start a blank new document in XAR Web Designer 9 Premium. And once you do that, let's go ahead and go to the Designs Gallery and open that panel and go ahead and lock it. And once you lock that panel, you want to click on the folder that says Website Backgrounds, new for version 9. And I already have that folder open, so I don't have to click on it. So once you have that folder open, let's go ahead and drag in a full width background into our workspace. And it doesn't matter which full width you use for your background. So once you choose a full width background, let's go ahead and close out the Designs Gallery. And then we're going to go ahead and go to our toolbar and select the Text Tool and draw a text area in our workspace and go ahead and hit control shift L to fill in that text area and then I'm going to go ahead and go back to my toolbar and select the selection tool and before we go any further in this tutorial I want to mention one thing by default when you drag in a full width background into your website workspace it's going to have a scrolling background so for example if I were to right click outside of the page area and go to pasteboard background you'll see that the option is set to scrolling so by default it's set to scrolling so you won't have to make any changes if you want to have a scrolling full width background so let's go ahead and take a look at what this looks like in our web browser so go to file preview web page and if we scroll up and down you'll notice that the content scrolls with the background all together so the background scrolling and show, so is the content or in other words the text that's in our workspace so if we go back to our, our workspace here and right click in a blank area in the pasteboard area and select pasteboard background and set it to fix and go to file preview web page and then we scroll down again you'll notice that the content moves or in other words the text moves but the background stays in the same exact positioning and this is what happens when you have a fixed full width background but my recommendation is that you have something you know in the background of your page because when you scroll this content it overlaps certain parts of your background where it might be harder for you to read the text so in that case I would go ahead and right click on your page area select page background and edit page color and click in that box and change it to a color that your text is readable on top of and if we go to file preview web page and scroll up and down even though the text moves because we have a page background there on top of the full width background you'll still be able to read that content even if you scroll up and down I apologize if you can hear any noise in the background um, you know unfortunately some things that I don't have control over but anyway if this tutorial was, a, was helpful, don't forget to embed, comment, share, subscribe, and stay tuned for future tutorials. Have a great day.